circling back to um, Queen Elizabeth again, <laughs> all the way back to the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, one uh, one thing I thought of when she passed, um, I was having a conversation with a friend, and he felt like it was the end of an era in a sense. Uh, you know, she was ninety six, ninety six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it felt like she's just been this symbol for forever you know uh and in her passing it it seems like we lost someone who like i struggle to find um to understand like if there's going to be a replacement for that Mm. and her sense of duty Mm -hmm. and her sense of um responsibility was very much uh, like of the old ways yeah you know um uh and someone who um I think uh, resembled that or, or lived in that same mode was like John Paul II, Mm -hmm. you know, like who he stuck with his papacy and uh, till, till his dying day, you know, and like this sense of duty again, uh, it just, it it feels like, like, are we going to have symbolic figures in the future now who are going to have that sense of responsibility or is it going to be all about, uh, well, uh, you know, it's about me and mm-hmm. I'm tired and you know, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to retire or I'm going to, you know, just watch out for me. Right. Um, it seems very much a generational thing. Mm-hmm. And so there was a sense of, you know, when I was talking to my friend, he, he, he almost expressed it like a sense of dread. Like, is this symbolic of actually the culture moving now? You know, like this la- last symbol of duty and responsibility in yeah. the old ways has died. Yeah. Like, where are we moving now? You know, what are, what are, are um you know politicians and heads of state and symbolic authority figures how are they going to show us how to bear responsibility um, yep. and so it was it was almost a glimpse of the future a little bit in her passing mm-hmm. and i just thought that was pretty pretty interesting so you have king yeah. charles yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no it, it does like i said it 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 does seem like something that belongs to the old world, yeah. right? Like, you know, we're Americans, no kings, yeah. just men. You yeah. know, like we're all, we're all equal here. We know there are no kings. And so, yeah, to, especially I think something that Pope John Paul II and Queen Elizabeth had in common certainly is a, a lengthy reign. Yeah. Like she, when, when, when was she? It um, was, um, I think it was in the fi- 1953. In the early 50s? Was mm. When she was... was um, her coronation. Yeah. yeah. And then um, Pope John Paul II was like the 70s until like yeah. the early 2000s. You know, like a, a yeah. long... Both of them had long reigns. So you, you, I guess in a sense, like the world got to know them and see them for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and so their passing certainly feels like the end of an era because it, yeah. like, it seems like they lived in era yeah. almost. But um, yeah. Yeah. I guess when you have these figures for so long, their passing has felt a little bit... Yeah, it, does, it definitely feels um, like symbolic of the times. Yeah, for sure, exactly. Uh, like as as we're kind of experiencing a little bit of an about turn culturally, like we've discussed before, this whole femininity thing coming in um, and a hyper masculinity like on the rise. Yeah, who knows? But it definitely seems like it's um, oddly time uh, timely. Yeah. Um, How'd your kids? How'd your wife? You know, was, yep, that, <laughs> something's coming. <laughs> That's the takeaway. Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do wonder when it might be dissolved. The, the monarchy. Yeah, yeah, you know, I thought just, the same thing. Too. It's up. Like, for, like people is, are talking about it now because it's like, well, since we're in this transition state, yeah. should we reconsider? Right. It's like, why is it here? Mm-hmm. People don't understand it. So. Yeah, I mean, certainly King Charles won't because you know, he's he's mm-hmm. like seventy three. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. that use, but. Um, What's his name? I don't know. William. William. Yeah. You know, ne- next up, I, I, you know, possibly, mm-hmm. it'd just be like, yeah, like we don't really need this anymore. You know, yeah. like, like what is this about? You know, yeah, scary. Kind of liquidate the, the properties. Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> well, I think, and it's just uh, it would be an abdication of symbols. That's what it would be. Yeah. It's like if uh, as we are progressing and, and becoming more modern, mm-hmm. uh, we're losing the. Um, ability to read symbols like as pope francis said in his letter uh and so when that question comes up like why do we need this it's it's the question of what is a symbol what yeah. is a symbol and if it does fall to the wayside and that that would be a really scary thing mm-hmm. um yeah because we're just getting rid of 
things that are not useful to us, right, uh, yeah. on a material level. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, it seems like maybe, maybe they need a progressive enough king or prince because... To see how good they actually had it. <laughs> two kings. Well, well, you know, no, just to, to, in order to dissolve it because... Right. right now, it's you know it's very common and very popular to hate on anything Western. Yeah, and so you could get the right, right person to be like, you know what, the, you know the monarchy represents an oppressive empire, mm-hmm. an yeah. imperialistic empire, and we are moving into the new age, the new era, away mm-hmm. from any sort of oppressive West. A type of new world order. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, you know what I mean, though. Like yeah. for real, just um, like we need to be done with the past, mm-hmm. be done with anything uh, that smacks of Western um, supremacy culture. and yeah. culture. Yeah. So yeah. this is a piece of it. Let's get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That's a theory. No, no, no. And yeah. I, I think like that that, is, that wouldn't surprise me at all if that's the approach. I think. Yeah, took. it'll so. be interesting to see because like on you have that tendency on one hand, and the other hand you have like more symbolism popping up, more people like yearning for something like religion, um, even the natural impulse to make the presidency a natural, a, uh, a symbolic figure mm-hmm. says something about America, but, you know, obviously a different, different country, but um, still it seems like a societal global movement towards yeah. more symbolism. You know, even in the Catholic realm, you have the Latin mass popping up. So mm-hmm. it just depends on like where it falls, it'll definitely be interesting to see. It's definitely not going to be a neutral thing. I feel like it's like if they're gonna if they're gonna keep the monarchy, it's, they're gonna go hard. Yeah. And if they destroy yeah. it, then it's gonna More go symbols. hard. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah. A, yeah, that's actually true. Maybe the monarchy yeah. will rise up and actually do a power grab. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They'll double down on it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They'll be like start a, colonialism again. Like uh, HBO's The Young Pope, but yeah. for monarchy, yeah. like, you know, bring back the regalia, yeah. bring back the guards, bring back the coaches. You know. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Court uh, jesters and stuff, you know. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, we, that, that'd be fun. <laughs> right, right. right, give me give me a famous uh, comedian. I want to yeah, laugh. Yeah, right yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan just up there. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Oh, like I'm not laughing. Do I have the power to execute him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Can we bring that back? <laughs> right. 